I mislabeled the vagina in a particular video that I did and this person pointed it out to me and they're absolutely right because this is actually not the vagina this is the opening of the vagina and the vagina has its whole own anatomy let me show it to you the vagina is a fibromuscular tube with anterior and posterior walls and these normally collapse and thus they contact with each other so it looks like one whole tube and the vagina is part of the female reproductive tract and it's attached to the cervix which is known as the neck of the womb up here and it's attached to the vulva which is the external genitalia so this whole bit is known as the vulva i've been gifted the anatomy of the vagina itself so this is a silicon replication of a real life female vagina so this is the i hope it comes out okay in this video so this is the opening where the posterior fourchette would be these are all the rings so the first aspect of the vagina and this is the body of the vagina and at the top this is the cervix so when i put a speculum in that is the thing that i see which is the neck of the womb so that's what the cervix looks like with the os the little dimple hole on the inside i hope that you can see that quite clearly the shape of the vagina is not a round tunnel in the transverse plane it's more of a h shape so it's lying on its side so in here you can see that it looks like a bit like a h upside down so you've got an anterior dome which is the anterior aspect of the cervix which is the neck of the womb the posterior drome is really important because it acts as a natural reservoir for semen after intravaginal ejaculation and the semen retained in the fornix liquefies in the next 20 to 30 minutes allowing for easier permeation through the cervical canal so the opening of the neck of the womb so that it can go there to meet the egg and the vagina is highly vascular. It's got its own vaginal arteries that infiltrate the whole tube. So lots and lots of blood supply. The vagina is incredible. All these ridges allow it to expand and stretch. So the cervix at childbirth opens up to the size of 10 centimeters to allow the head of the baby through. And the vagina then is allowed to have the baby size. So roughly about 35, 36 centimeters of the size of the baby through that. So this is an incredible organ. So, the, so these ridges or rugae as they're known are brilliant. They are there for stretching during sex. They are there for childbirth, they're for menstruation. And it allows the expanding to happen significantly and then come back into its size. So there's no such thing as being loose after having a baby or having sex. None of that is true. That's a myth and it's utter rubbish and it's to do with the patriarchy and you should get rid of it. Anyway, it serves as a pathway for menstrual flow, sperm and a baby. And its walls produce lubrication through its own transidate and not glands. It's able to have its own ecosystem. It has its own level of microbiome that it's able to look after. The vagina is incredible. I hope that's been useful because we need to be respecting the vagina so much more than we are. And I'm so happy with this new toy. Yeah. And thank you for my new toy because it's coming in very handy in my clinics.